Welcome to Rome Total War on Medieval 2. And today I am doing an AI only campaign. Without further ado, let's just get into this. So this is going to be interesting because the Medieval 2 AI on the campaign map is just so much smarter than the Rome Total War AI. So we're going to see some crazy stuff. Julie I take and suggest her. But we're also going to see a different civil war scenario because these are not locked together in a super faction. They are allied together, but not locked together. Which means we could see a much earlier civil war, which I think is going to make this campaign so much more interesting. First war coming in, Scipii versus the Greek city-states. They are pushing for Syracuse, but I don't think they will take it. Now nah, the Greeks sailed out. Some Lucid sent Egypt going to war, Gaul allied to Carthage, and Macedon and the Greek cities also going to war. Ooh, interesting, so we've got the original wonders in here. I wonder if they have the same effects, because you don't have wonders in Medieval 2. Yeah, like the Colossus of Rhodes, for example. Would be interesting. Cornif under siege by the Greek city-states. Could Cornif be the first faction-to-faction -faction city to fall? Uh, Macedon to Capolonia? Brutii going for Salona instead. Carthage hopping into this war, also wanting Syracuse. And the Gauls and the Julii are that wall as well. And this is what I mean about the AI. You will not see this in the original Rome. The fact that the Scipii can land here, Carthage can land here, that is going to change everything. The Germans going for the Gauls as well. And it's Carthage who has Massilia under siege. They did lose. But yeah, this, this is going to change everything. I'm so excited for this AI campaign. And if it gets a thousand likes, I'll do it again, but with a united Roman Empire, and we'll even spawn Persia in as well, in that scenario. And as always, let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you want to see. Cornif has fallen. The Greek city-states took it. We usually see Macedon dominate in Greece, so it's going to be interesting to see it happen the other way around. Possibly the Greek cities making the push. Loads of wars kicking off. I'm not going to cover all of them, obviously, because there's quite a lot happening. Uh, but Thrace is making the push on Dacia, which would be a devastating loss for Dacia but they did hold out. Oh yes, and we also have Illyria in this campaign as well, so naturally I will be rooting for them, but I don't think we'll see them do anything. The Julii took Massilia. Okay. Usually you won't see that. Usually they would have to take Medellanium and Patavium first, but no, they're going straight for it. The First Punic War has begun. Carthage at war with the Scipii. Moving in here with a blockade and dropping off troops outside of Rome as well. Yep, going to war with the Senate right there. Numidia going to war against Carthage. They could possibly push for the capital there. Numidia attacking Palma. Oh, this I thought I would never see. I hope they take it. Okay, they pulled off. Really, Brutii already going to war with Egypt? That is so odd. They're pushing down here for Crete. Yeah, such a different AI. This is going to be like no campaign we've ever seen before. They just really wanted to blockade Halicarnassus, didn't they? First took Byzantium, and coming over here to the east, Seleucia is under siege by Parthia, and that will be a big loss for the Seleucid Empire, and yeah, Parthia took it. Well done, Parthia, and that's a big gain for them as well. The Julii pushing for Patavium, that's a lot of goals to deal with. But I wonder, could the Senate actually take a sit to here? I think they could possibly do it in this mod. Car uh, Rome itself being left open, Carthage is here, so they do have to be careful. This could be chaotic. And interesting, he is a dictator as well. Cool. The Spanish pushing on Gaul, wanting to kick them out of Numantia. And well done Brutii, taking Crete. Armenia taking advantage of a weak Seleucid Empire here, pushing for Hatra, but no, they sadly were defeated. Illyria doing it something now, uh, they had an alliance with the Julii, but that had to break because the Brutii wanted to go to war with them instead. 
and naturally it's good to see at least for now the Julii sided with the Brutii. So they do have some close links and the Greek cities being the one to push for Lilibeum. Oh, this is so cool. What I like is the Greek cities start everywhere, but on Medieval 2, the AI is smart enough to actually handle that. And all the balance has been changed as well. So it means in theory, we should end up seeing a completely different result here. Illyria pushing for Salona, yes, go on Illyria. <laughs> and they actually took it as well, good. That's a big blow for the Brutii, really. To lose a city to Illyria this early into the game. Well done Greek cities, actually taking Lilibaeum. And the British making a successful push over here against the Gauls. And then the Brutii surrendered to them and the Julii reinstated their alliance with Illyria. Or oh, Illyria, for the faction that starts with one city, they're actually doing well so far. But what will they go for next? Massive Scipii army pushing now for Syracuse. The Gauls held out at Numantia, and the Scipii took it, whilst the Brutii were able to sneak through from Crete and take Sparta. Cornith could be next for them. Gaul expanding to take a Quincum, and Thrace took Dacia's capital, pushing Dacia down to their final city. Dacia sadly not doing much, they seem a little stuck. The Gallic capital of Alesia under siege by the Germans, the British are nearby to possibly help out. And the Germans actually took it, that surprises me, I didn't think they would. The British pushing down to Lemons now, so the Gauls are really about to fall apart. It's only the Romans that are being a bit slow to attack them. Hatra under siege yet again, Pontus, Armenia and Parthia all at war with the Seleucids, so any one of those powers could take the city here. But the Seleucids have a lot of men, so I think they'll hold. And they did, against all of them, I think, as well. And they really needed that. They need to hold on to as many of these valuable cities here as possible right now. Oh, and such an odd move. Carthage took Cyrene from the Greek city-states. Armenia taking Tanais from Scythia, making a good push against them. Parthia also pushing against Scythia. Looks like they will be successful. And Lemons did indeed fall. And the Julii pushing for Avaricum. Oh, looked at them, sorry. But they still haven't taken Mediolanium or Batavium yet. Lilibeum under siege by the Scipii. And then they will control all of Sicily. And just like that, they took it. So where will the Scipii AI go next? Ooh, already making the moves for Sardinia. Meanwhile, the Julii pushing for Corsica. Nice, well done, Scipii. And well done to the Julii for taking the other island. Meanwhile, Egypt took Siwa from Numidia. So, bad start for Carthage, as always. I guess some things never change. Although, one thing I find odd is, right now, the Roman faction struggling most is probably the Brutii, and the one doing best is the Scipii which you would never see in the original Rome, or at least very rarely. Oh, and Illyria pushing for a Quincum there. Can they get up to three cities? No, sadly they lost. Speaking of some things never change, uh, Parthia here, leaving this city just wide open for anyone to walk into. Genius AI. I wonder how much this is affecting it as well. So they're slowly converting it over to Eastern from Greek. Whereas like Babylon for example is already 90% Eastern and Hatra is 82% Greek. So that will slow down the AI's advance. Well done Pontus, making a big move against the Seleucid Empire, taking Tarsus there, cutting the Seleucids into two. And the Scipii now landing in Africa. I don't think this army will do much, but it's a good promising sign. Palma fell to the Julii. The entire SBQR army is pretty much stuck on Palma. So if the civil war was to start or, you know, something weird was to happen, Rome is basically completely open for anyone to take. Man, it's not looking good for Gaul. Ludodum under siege, Avaricum fell. They're constantly fighting the Spanish down here. Constantly fighting the Julii up here. 
new midi have really put in an army together now, pushing for Carthage. But Carthage has quite a lot of troops there, so they might be able to deal with this. And the Brute TI finally deciding to make the push and go for Cornith. Oh, and the Skippy I land some real troops in here now. Can Bisalt sold out Bisalt versus Decimus with Fiagris as reinforcements? Some big battles about to take place, and it looks like the Carthaginians won. They kicked the Scipii out, but they probably took a lot of big losses to achieve that. Ilaria's pushing for Patavian. Yes, come on, Ilaria. That's the type of city you need, especially if you can keep your alliance with the Julii. And Britain already pushing into Iberia, putting Numantia under siege. Okay, no, they ain't lost. Oof, that would have been quite a big move for the British there. Uh, but they are going to war with the Germans now, attacking Elysia as well. Are we also going to see an OP Barbarian Britain in the mod as well? <laughs> I really hope not. I'm hoping for something new in this. Something like the SPQR dominates all of Italy or like Numidia makes the comeback or something like that. Although technically, you know, that wouldn't be too rare, New Media won the last AI campaign, in a sense. Check that out if you haven't already. Corniff still under siege, the Brute TI struggling a bit with the pathfinding, getting around those mountains. Illyria sadly got defeated here. The Gauls are very strong, they're putting up a really good fight, they are winning their battles, even though they have just lost Numantia to the Spanish. But they're just fighting so many wars that, at this point, they've been completely overrun. And that's why they're really struggling. Scalabis fell to Carthage as well. Interesting, we're seeing a, a historical Carthage to some extent. They've lost the First Punic War, so now they're trying to regather their strength in Iberia. Will we see them cross the Alps? This AI is smart enough to do that, and attack Rome by surprise would be very interesting. And what's the SPQR doing down here? Stupid Lentulus. Wow, Marcus Maxentius, Dictator. If I recall in the RP series that I did, he did run for that role. Uh, but the Discord chat, nope, they voted against him. Ah, oh, sometimes, you know, I just think I'd love to bring the RP campaign back. <sighs> Those were some good times. No, Julii going to war with Ilaria. Okay, panic mode for Ilaria right now. And the Greeks won at Corniff. Wow. Oh, and Spain retook Scalabis there from Carthage. Okay, maybe it's not working out as historical as Carthage would have wanted. Which is quite a big thing to say given how it historically actually went for Carthage. If they can't even achieve history here, then yeah, they are really screwed. We've got the Gauls here, we've got the Spanish, we've got the Roman Senate, we've got a massive Numidian army all around Julii Palma. <laughs> Stuff I never thought I would see, and Numidia's actually putting it under siege. They won't take it because the Julii and the SPQR are allied. Numidia really going for it, but they won't win. How did... <laughs> okay, I take it back. Numidia took Palma from the Julii, but... Wait a minute, we, we have a civil war. Has it just started now? Literally this term, it started. Okay, well, anyway, I'll cover that soon in a second. But the Senate should have helped out the Julii there. They should have came in as reinforcements, unless it was a night battle. Surely the AI did not fight a night battle. Anyway, the Scipii have broken free. We've got the early civil war, and this is exactly what I wanted out of this mod. So, they're still allied to the Brutii. The Brutii... Oh, this is a mess. Right, the Brutii are allied with the Senate and the Scipii. The Julii are allied with the Senate as well. So it's the Scipii that have broken away, and they want the civil war. The Brutii is... They are unsure who they want to side with right now. They don't want to side with the Julii. But they're thinking, Senate, Scipii, which do I really want to go for? They are undecided. Technically, the Scipii are not even going to war with the Senate. They just say it for Julii. Ooh, how political. 
Okay, so what's actually going on here? Sicily is fine, these islands are fine, it's it's been fought over at Massilia. Massive Stupii forces, Julii coming in with reinforcements. This is exactly what I wanted from this campaign. And ah, the Julii held out. Okay, technically I wanted the Stupii to win that because it would look cool on the map. But no, sadly not. But what's going to happen with the rest of these territories then? And how will it evolve over time? Numidia and the Senate at war? The Senate is attacking Palma. Ah, oh, please take it, Senate. No, they lost. Okay. That was a shame. More troops arriving at Massilia, though. The Senate going to war with Iberia as well, the Spanish. But I doubt they'll do anything there. Scipii, d don't think in terms of that much treason. Be careful, Scipii. Iberia's marching in with a vast horde of troops as well. Oh, and Macedon took Athens. And they also took firm on back from the Greek cities, but Thrace came in here and took by Lazara, whilst Parthia cut through and took Damascus. I've been focusing far too much on Rome, I think, but it's just so interesting right now. Will they take Massilia? Mm, they might just have the troops to go for it now. Meanwhile, Cornif under siege by a lot of Brutii, and surely they should take it here. No, they just seem unable to actually go for the attack. More Scipii troops arriving? But so are the Julii bringing more men. Egypt took Cyrene from Carthage. And finally, the Brutii took Corniff. Well done, Brutii, well done. But for once, you are the least interested in Roman faction. The Scipii blockading all Julii ports here. They're really using their navy to bankrupt the Julii. Yeah, look at what this civil war is doing for them. Like, all the way down to zero extra income at this point. In the long run, if the Scipii can keep these blockades up, I think they can defeat the Julii. Oh, I, I need to do a let's play of this. A stream series or something, I just have to. Like playing as the Julii with these new civil war mechanics. It would be so cool. Oh, go on, Scipii, go straight for a red team or something. I know you've got a lot of Julii troops to chew through, but come on, do something with this. No, pushing through. I think they're more interested in Massilia. Like, blockading the Julii in. Yeah, that, that army there in northern Italy, they're going for Massilia. That's what they really want. And sadly, it seems the Scipii got defeated. They travelled all that way for nothing. The Brutii going to war against Macedon. They've been able to take Athens, and Macedon is struggling. Fighting right now between Thrace in the north and the Brutii in the south. Numidia landing at Corsica. King Akhat the Mean. <laughs> Go on, Akhat, take Corsica. Oh, the Seleucid Empire making a little comeback, taking back Tarsus, but they might be about to lose their capital, Antioch, to Parthia. No, they held out, and lucky for them because they needed that as well. Finally, for the first time, the Scipii outnumber the Julii in Massilia. They have more forces. But will they actually push for it before more Julii troops can get here? No, not pushing for it yet. Uh, Cordoba fell to the Spanish. Carthago Nova being Carthage's last city in Iberia. The Brutii hanging around Larissa, yet not putting it under siege yet. Oh, and finally, the Germans taking a rebel settlement. Uh, taking Denmark there. Yeah, all of these rebel settlements say uh, just open. Love of them. Open. Why? Why is no one going for it? The Germans should have had this ages ago. And it's so odd seeing Numidia as like the main naval power over here. <laughs> I've just got so many ships. And they're not actually like fighting Carthage on the land. Oh no, one Julii army revolted. Not good for the Julii. Because it uses the same authority mechanic that's in Medieval 2. So... Armies just randomly going rebel if they don't have a general. I've spotted as being a somewhat frequent thing. Now that, Numidia, is how you blockade. <laughs> and they are going for Corsica as well, pushing onto the Julii there. Are we going to see Numidia land in northern Italy? I hope so. And they took it as well. Well done, Numidia, taking Corsica. I'm really seeing the medieval two in this. Even though it's Rome 1, I'm seeing, like, when the Moors constantly land 
at like Corsica if you're playing Sicily or Milan. That's what I see right now. They're playing like for Moreswood in Medieval 2. Parthia going again for the Seleucid capital of Antioch. And they took it and that was not a good turn for the Seleucid Empire because they also lost Halicarnassus. No, they also lost Sardis to the Greek cities at Pergamon. Down now to their final two settlements. They could be the first to die and at some point they should retook their capital. Uh, sadly I missed that. <gasps> the civil war grows. The Brutii and the Julii are going to war so the Brutii have made their choice now. After seeing Numidia take Corsica from the Julii, the Julii have lost all respect. So the Brutii, they have picked their side. They are joining the Scipii. The Senate is allied to the Julii. It is the Julii right now representing the Roman Republic. The Brutii and the Scipii are allied together, trying to overthrow the Republic, but not directly going against Rome itself because they don't want to anger them. This is political business. And by the way, ignore that I'm playing as the Normans and I have an SPQR logo. Ignore all of that. That has nothing to do with anything SPQR. Ooh, it's such an interesting civil war. The Senate and the Julii against the Brutii and the Scipii. The Scipii now landing in Corsica, trying to retake back the island from Numidia in the name of Rome. That would be very humiliating for the Julii. Carthage, are they going to make a push into Egypt? Going for possibly Alexandria there? Or are they just going to stand there for the next 30 turns in the middle of the desert? And... Oh, no, no, they're going home instead. They just wanted to look, they were just visiting the pyramids. They wanted to see where it is, and wow! Spain hopping across. You would never get this in original art. Oh, in original Rome, we've got green arrows. That's why they could do that. Okay, the Spanish barbarians taking Tingi from Numidia there. Interesting. And they are now pushing onto Carthago Nova as well. And well done, Scipii. Taking Corsica. The Julii, not looking good. Oh, and by the way, yes, the Americas is in this mod, but it's basically completely blank. Nothing is going to happen over here. Illyria! Yes, well done, Illyria. After about five siege attempts, they have finally taken Patavium from the Gauls. They could push for the Julii now. I'm loving this campaign. Uh, Macedon trying to come back, pushing again for Bylazora. Civil war has really kicked off now. The Senate and the Scipii are officially against each other. This is the Senate and the Julii versus the Scipii and the Brutii officially now at this point. And I think the Scipii side is going to win it, to be honest. The Julii are not looking that good. They are surrounded still at Massilia. They're holding on to it at least, but they've not been able to take these down like settlements. They've lost to Corsica, whilst the Scipii, they, they also lost Palma as well, whilst the Scipii doing very well. And the Spanish retook Palma from Numidia. The Scipii pulling their armies back onto boats, I believe. Yeah, for some weird reason. Ah, oh, yeah, so we do have green arrows everywhere, don't we? Okay, that, that should really help for AI, actually. I'm excited to see how that's going to impact it later on. The Greek city is pushing for Halicarnassus now. That would be a very big take for them. They need that city, I think. The Scipii kicked the SBQR off of Corsica, and they might be going here for Palma. No, never mind. I don't know what the Scipii are doing then. The Marian reforms have hit. The Republic army is formed. Not much of a Republic at this point, but it's good to see the reforms have hit. This is more like Sulla's civil war at this point, in a way. The Brutii making a very big push there. They took Larissa from Macedon at long last. Armenia pushing north as well, going deeper against Scythia. But yeah, taking Rhodes here, and also taking Larissa as well. Macedon retook by Lazara, but they're about to lose it again. And now this would be interesting, does the Colossus actually help them economically? If so, that would be good for the Brutii. Ooh, Macedon holding out at by Lazara. They needed that. 
have edge taken Siwa from Egypt and for Stupi I have no idea what is going on at all. I read his name completely wrong there for a second in my head. Ooh, they should make an A push onto Thrace now. Taking the fight back into their land and taking Tylus as well. Putting Thrace down to their final two settlements. But two settlements that are quite far from each other. Illyria and the Julii fight in here. Both just destroying each other's armies. Which the Julii really does not need. The Julii at this point I think just needs to take these Italian settlements. These rich valuable ones they need to push down here. But they're too preoccupied up here. The Brutii, they could do with the same, but they're occupied in Egypt. Uh, funny looking Egypt, uh, with Larissa under siege. And the Stupii are, uh, well, yeah, completely dumb. They had such a good start, but now they're being dumb. Come on, Stupii. Parthia hopping across to Cyprus. And Dacia being the one now to push for by Lazora. Meanwhile, big Brutii falls here, pushing for the Julii. This could really shake things up. If the Scipii aren't going to do it, I think the Brutii are. They're pushing for them. Right outside the gate. But will they actually dare to do it? Oh, they're just getting into a better position for now. Oh, they, they did fight the army. The Brutii won, but they still have to put it under siege. Meanwhile, Spain having some issues with rebels. Unfortunately. Come on, Brutii, you've got this. You've got reinforcements here as well. This could be a big move in this campaign, but you need to strike. And no, nope, they got defeated for Julie I won. Oh well. At least they're slowly whittling down the Julie I's forces. Mail of Britain, this is the port you want to blockade with ten ships. Seems a bit odd to me. Egypt, what are you doing? <laughs> why? This makes no sense at all. And Thrace, why are you landing at Rhodes? Ah, oh, never mind. I want to see what Egypt does. I think the booty I took out one of the fleets. Alright, there we go. Just a one turn temporary weird thing. The Greeks taking Halicarnassus there, pushing now for Ankyra. Are we about to see a comeback for the Greek city-states? And for Seleucid's empire, taking Antioch back somehow. I don't know why Parthia would lose that. And yeah, the Greeks took it. Well done, Greek cities. Where are the Scipii going now? Holding this bridge up here. We've got quite a big navy with a load more troops on it. And are they just going back home or something? Yeah, they're just going home. Okay, never mind. Elavia pushing for Apollonia now. Ooh, taking it and also taking another city. Love that one there. Well done, Elavia, getting up to five cities. Scipii slowly and steadily walking through Julii territory, fighting battles every now and then. And they've got to fight somebody here, surely, to get back home. Macedon and the Scipii at war, but... I don't think we'll see anything come out of that. Uh, and then all the Julii just like separate. <laughs> Leaving a perfect path for the Scipii to get home. I mean, I guess you would. Like, you don't want to trap them. So if you know they're going home, just like let them through, let them get out of your territory. It does make some strategic sense, I guess. Oh, no, they're going for Patavium instead. Scipii, what are you doing? Don't you, get, don't you dare use these troops to start a new pointless war with Illyria. Okay, crossing the little bridge now, which in Medieval 2 would lead to Venice. Venice would be here. But what are they doing? And now they're just standing there. Really trying to possibly get a bridge battle with somebody. Yeah, they seem a bit stuck there. How weird. And Numidia at some point we took Palmer. <laughs> this city is just going back and forth. Brutii landing here in Asia Minor, possibly going to war with the Greek city states. And they could take a few good settlements there. That would be very somewhat historical, I think. They, they, could, also they could also push for Apollonia as well, whilst Dacia takes by Lazora. But hopefully they don't. No, good, they're not doing it. Really? T two Numidian diplomats died on the same turn? What's the odds in that? 
I won't want to be this one right now. Or oh, Illyrian diplomat, sorry. No, Macedon held out at Bailazora again. The Brutii, no idea where they are going. And the Scipii are still stuck here. Poop. <gasps> the SBQR! They did something! They took Palma from Numidia, they're probably about to lose it again. Nope, they got rid of the forces. These Marian reforms might really be helping them out. Oh, well done, SPQR, and Carthage retaking Cordoba as well. No, Bruti, I don't do it. Why would you go for Illyria? My favourite faction, good, they got destroyed. No one touches Illyria. Could Carthage make the comeback? Taking advantage of this weird Roman situation. And speaking of a Carthage comeback, they've taken Memphis from Egypt. The pyramids there now under Carthaginian rule. And Pontus took Cortes at some point, cutting off Armenia from their main cities. And that Brutii army just kept walking east. No idea where they've gone, probably ended up in China or something. Oh, could the Brutti I take for Salonica though? They've got the troops around if they really wanted to go for it. They're attacking it. Can they take it? That would be very bad for Macedon, and yeah, they did. Well done, Brutti, and well done, Carthage as well, for just taking Alexandria there. Brutti now looking very good in Greece. Carthage looking very good in Egypt. Scipii, is this really necessary? All of those ships right there. Julii landing at Corsica, trying to take it back, and the Brutii once again up here, and they got slaughtered. Illyria pushing for Larissa, that would be a big loss for the Brutii. Would be interesting if they take it, nah, sadly they lost. But I like how Illyria is playing this, I like their aggressive style. Brutii and Julii have signed peace, is the first civil war coming to an end? Have they figured it out? The Scipii could take Rome here. Again, if they actually wanted to go for it. <gasps> They're putting it under siege. Okay, finally the Scipii have woken up. Okay, hopefully this is a promising sign to come. Maybe, um, you know, there was some form of like a ceasefire. Uh, the Julii were in talks with the Brutii. They were like, come on Scipii, we can involve you in these talks as well. Let's figure it out. Let's talk this out. Uh, but once the Brutii went behind their back and signed a separate peace, they're like, no, we're going straight for Rome. They're annoyed right now, and I think they're going to take it as well. Oh, poo. <laughs> Come on, give me a good episode, Strippy Eye. It's really resting on you right now. Okay, have they regathered their army? They're going for another push, I think. Can they do it this time? They're slowly marching towards it, taking out one army at a time. Oh, but the SBQR now just has too many troops. So yeah, if I've had to pull back. Ah, oh, poo. I think the Scipii is doing all of this because secretly, deep down at heart, they want to go to war with the Brutii. I think this is what this is all really about. But the Brutii, no, they're just refusing to break their alliance here. So the Scipii have no justification to attack the Brutii, so they're just, just here in their land, burning their crops, just waiting for the Brutii to make a mistake. But they're like, no, 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 we're good, we'll, we'll keep the peace for now. That's why they're all stuck down here. Yes, that's my own law that I'm adding. And no faction has been destroyed yet, by the way. We have never gone this far into an AI campaign where no faction has been destroyed. The Spanish making a push, taking lemons from the British, but the British trying to retake it. Palma still under SBQR control, which is good to see. Okay, the Brutii going back to war with the Julii. They're back in it. The Julii trying to hold the Alps, and what was he doing to him? That was so weird. And the Scipii have broken through the line. Can they this time push for Rome? Maybe with a bit of Brutii help. They've got the numbers to do it. Come on, Scipii. And it looks like they got slaughtered. Or pulled back into the trees. The Julii, though, they've gathered up an army. And they seem to be coming down south now, going for the Brutii. Also, are they besieging the Senate? No way. I don't think so. They're just standing outside it, aren't they? Yeah, surely. Yeah, okay, they're just standing outside. Oof, 
This Julii army won't do anything. The Scipii will butch them before they even touch the Bruti. Uh, the Julii going for Patavium as well, which would be a big hit for Illyria. Okay, I'm surprised that they made it this far, to be honest, but surely the Scipii pulling back. If the Julii bring in reinforcements and take Tarentum, and then the Scipii take Tarentum back, <laughs> maybe they have a deal with the Julii now flipping it over. Oh, come on, I really want to see that. Let's try and build some lore here. Let's try and build a story. Julii, they've got their reinforcements here. There's not that many Brutii left. The Scipii are actually blocking the Brutii from being able to reinforce. So they can't get any reinforcements there because the Scipii are in the way. And the only way the Brutii can break through is by getting a boat, which they don't have. And if they do have, they could just get blockaded again quite easily. Or by going to war with the Scipii. Was I right? Was this their plan all along? Oh, and uh, the Brute I took firm on Macedon down to their final settlement. They could be dead any second now. But no, over here it seems the Julii just are not interested. They're not going for it. They're not taking the bait. And that Carthage took back Scalabis from the Spanish. Well done, Carthage. They've had a very good comeback in Iberia. I am impressed. And the Julii got slaughtered by the Brutii. The Scipii made an opening. And the Julii took Patavium from Illyria. Another sad disappointment there. Ooh, Thrace also down to their final city as Dacia took Byzantium from them. The Seleucid Empire down to their final city as the Greek cities took Tarsus. And Parthia, they look like they're wanting to go for it. Brutii pushing again for Apollonia. And I think they're going to take it now. I think Illyria is about to fall apart. Yep, they took it. And that's good for the Brutii, because that really protects their Greek cities now. Which are going to be very valuable to them. Yeah, the Scipii, they just want the Brutii, don't they? That's what all of this is about. The Brutii marching north with another army, but again, it's not strong enough to do anything. They've got one city under siege, which I'm actually impressed with. I didn't think they'd make it that far. Was I wrong? Could they do something? Come on, Brute T.I. Yes! At last, something happened in this civil war. We've been going about a hundred turns into it, and finally, the Brute T.I. took a city from the Julii. Hopefully that shakes the AI up now, and they should really start moving. Brute T.I. pushing for Byzantium now. By Lazara under siege, by a load of Brute T.I. troops alongside Byzantium. We could get our first faction destroyed here. Is it going to be Macedon? Holding out for now. Carthage taking Numantia as well from the Spanish. And the Spanish falling apart. Late game Carthage in this mod is doing very good. In fact, it does not they don't look that strong on the map. But if you really think about it, they could be one of the most powerful factions right now. Brutti are bringing up a lot more troops. The Gauls crossing into Italy as well again. But I'm more interested in Macedon right now. Please, a faction must get destroyed and they survived it. No one has died. Why? The final Seleucid city under siege by Parthia. Are the Seleucids going to be the first to get wiped out? Ooh, Pontus hopped across and took Byzantium. That you'd never see in the original. Rutii with a big army up here. They could take a retium with that. They've got reinforcements there. Come on, Brutii, please. If you do this, Brutii, they might have won a battle there, but they took big losses. If you take a retium, I will take back what I said about you being the Barbin faction in this campaign. And meanwhile, over here, Parthia pulled back. Okay, have I cleared out some more troops? Now it's mostly open for them. If the Julii don't bring anyone else down from Patavium. Nope, never mind. They are now outnumbered. And the Germans besiege in Medianlanium. They're about to get in here and mess everything up. And faction destroyed the Seleucid Empire. I'm assuming they got regicided. All their generals died, so the faction just goes rebel. Like that. Well, rest in peace, Seleucid Empire. The first one to go. But finally, finally one's gone. 192 turns. That's all it took. They have a Metium under siege. Well done, Brutii. Mediolanium fell to the Germans. Gaul down to its final two territories. 
Come on, Brute T.I., come on, you've got this. You've got reinforcements nearby. They're cleared out for Julii reinforcements, at least. Oh, more coming in, though. They didn't take it in time, oh no. I don't think they're going to do it. The Julii is going to attack from in the back. And yeah, the Brute T.I. are going to fall apart. They fought the... Whoa! Oh, well done, Brute T.I. They fought the battle. They were wildly outnumbered, but somehow they won. Either a good general winning the auto resolve, or maybe they just had better troops. I don't know. But well done, Brute T.I. They're in a good position now, and I bet the Scipii are kicking themselves. Because they only want to go to war with the Brute T.I. That's it. They just want Crete and Archers. That's all they ever wanted in life. A few Crete and Archers. They started an entire civil war to get it, but it didn't work out for them. <laughs> and now this is a good foothold for the Brute T.I. to take Suggester and eventually Petavium and win the civil war. Ooh, even, it gets even better for the Brute T.I. Putting Suggester under siege, but also taking another city, Sardis. They're hopping across Byzantium under siege as well. The Brutii trying to form some form of Roman borders here, which I like to see. And they took Suggester as well. Yeah, the Brutii, now the most interesting Roman faction. Or I'll actually say the only Roman faction that stands any form of a chance. And they've got quite a lot of cities as well at this point. But Carthage is still a decent power. It's like they might have lost the first Punic War, but the second is still yet to come. The year, by the way, is 71 BC, if anyone was wondering. Oh no, Germans, don't. This would be terrible timing. Don't take Caretium. Please don't do it. Okay, good, for Brutti I held out. Whew. Speaking of the Germans, they at some point took Samabrovia from the British. Not doing much in the campaign, really, for the most part. Ooh, Thrace. Little comeback down here, taking Crimea from, I believe, Armenia. Or possibly Scythia, I can't remember. And the Brutii taken by Xantium. Surely at this point they have to be the most powerful faction. And if anyone wants a Scipii update, here it is. <laughs> oh, here we are. Two big Brutii armies. They're pushing around Patavium as well. And they're disappearing. Where did they go? Probably camouflaged in the trees or something. Or maybe withdrawing. The Brutii were able to cross and take Nicomedia now. Uh, Pontus wanting to retake it, I think, whilst they're continuing to push for the Greeks. Can he do it? Mithridates here. Can he make the comeback against the Romans? I think he can do it. Which would be bad for the Brutii, yep. Well done, Pontus, though. But the Brutii just have so many troops there, I think they should be fine in the long run. Especially if they get Halicarnassus here. Yep, there we go. Halicarnassus gives them a good foothold, because it is mostly a safe city. Ooh, I really do love these port designs here. Ooh, and Parthia making the push um, against Egypt, taking Jerusalem down here. Yeah, Egypt being a very weak faction here. It's a Hellenistic Egypt as well, not the Bronze Age Egypt. Where are the Scipii off to now? What random island are they going to stand on? I'm sure we'll find out in a few turns. Like, it's such a shame because they were looking so promising at the start of the Scipii. I was really rooting for them and then they just died. And now Carthago Nova has fallen to the Spanish. Poop. Ooh, Dacia becoming a vassal of the Brutii. That's four whole cities there just surrendering over. Uh, the Brutii took Salona, put him by Lazara under siege and that puts Illyria, because the Germans took love of them, down to their final settlement, and, oh, Ilavia's dead. Wow, the faction that I'm rooting for. Dead, that's it. But I am loving the Brute T.I. borders though. It looks so cool. Rest in peace, Ilavia. I think I saw the Brute T.I. attack the Senate there. The SBQR had an army outside of Etium. I think the Brute T.I. went for it, yes. So the Brute T.I. is now at war with the Senate. And the Scipii and the Brute T.I. are at war. They took three. Okay, so this war has just kicked off then. Uh, maybe like last turn and I missed it. So they went in with their armies and took Crete. Uh, the Brutii, though, that's not really much of a loss for them. And the main Scipii force, I cannot yet see. Okay, so this is now a full-on Brutii bid for power. 
the Julii still backing the Senate, although they're down to only two settlements, so I doubt they'll do much. The Senate themselves have had two settlements, and the Scipii just sort of doing their own thing, uh, holding the little islands here, and attacking from Illyria and Italy now, Patavium should fall to the Brutii fairly quickly. And they're pushing for Massilia as well. Can the Brutii do what the Scipii never could? Take Massilia. That's all I want to see at this point. Can they do it? Ooh, big Scipii army landed outside Fermon. Brutii making another push for Crete. The Scipii destroyed at Fermon, but they survived at Crete. The Scipii pushing for Croton. It helps that they've got this green arrow here. It means they can get everyone from Sicily pushing for the Brutii. And they've got enough troops to take Fermon, but no, they got wiped out again. The Brutii are just too powerful. And Egypt making a comeback there, taking back Memphis. The Scipii, I think they're putting Croton under siege. No, they're not. Not yet. But they've got enough troops to do it. And if they can, we might be about to see the rebirth of the great Scipii that we knew at the start of this campaign. Or, they're not going to push for it at all and they're going to continue to be stupid. And it looks like the latter. <sighs> Silly Scipii. The Brutii have been very preoccupied with them right now. This army here is surrounded. They can't get back to Suggesta. And Suggesta is under siege by a massive horde. They're trying to get reinforcements here. I think they will hold out. Yes, just. But it didn't work the second time. Suggesta has fallen. The Germans are in. The final thin green line of the Brutii here trying to hold back the German hordes. But if they go for it, I think they will break through and then push for Rome. Which would mess up everything for the Brutii, in my opinion. Remember, by the way, usually I go to turn 300 and Eretium has fallen. Uh, that wasn't what I was meant to say, but Eretium has fallen to the Germans. Which means Rome is next on their target and they're already coming here. Yeah, I usually go 300 turns and then we decide the winner by who has the most territory, plus their vassal's territory, which I've got no idea what faction that would be right now, maybe the Brutii, maybe the Germans, maybe Carthage, uh, but I might have to go a little bit longer here because I thought the AI would be a lot faster, but they still seem a little slow. It seems the Medieval 2 AI is struggling to understand the idea of having Rome in the game. So it's messing up a bit. I definitely have to do this again, I think. Uh, but with a united Rome, with Persia, and I'll also add my own little AI tweaks as well to make them a bit more aggressive. But that's for another day. I might have to go a little longer than 300 turns here. I don't know yet. The Scipii outside Rome with a big army. They could take Rome here. Faction destroyed the Greek cities. So the Brutii took Pergamon. And then they had Ankyva still, but all their generals were there, so they regicided. Rest in peace, Greek city-states. I did like them as a faction. I was impressed with what they were able to pull off. And it's so rare that you'll see so many Parthian ships in the Mediterranean. So many German forces here. Italy itself is a mess, stuck in civil war. The Brutii have a lot of forces up north, but really, if anything, we need them here. Not here, and this city's under siege. If this goes, I think Rome is going to fall not long after. Yeah, the Germans took it. Rome is the next stop and they're already making the move. Oh, nope, pulling back. Is that a ceasefire, perhaps? Nope. Maybe they've decided they want Patavium instead. Okay, now they're going for it again. Uh, the Brutii are here with a lot of forces. If they take Capua from the Scipii, that would be good. And someone's a vassal. The Senate. So, the Scipii owns the Senate now, of Rome. Could you say they won the, the Civil War? I don't know. Uh, but they are still allied to the Julii. But that forces the Scipii and the Julii to have a ceasefire. So now, in a way, does the Scipii represent the Roman Republic alongside the Julii? And it is the Brutii who are now the outlawed enemy. Yes, yeah, so the Julii could not protect the Senate. So, the Senate has surrendered to the Scipii's demands, which were seen as moderate compared to the now aggressive Brutii, who just want to take control and conquer everything. 
and to British for some reason out here as well. The stupid eye. Has the old stupid eye returned? Is that all they needed? All they needed was to be the defender of the Senate. Because they have now taken Thapsus. Carthage is within sight and Carthage were looking good. They were on the comeback. But now they've lost that, suddenly they look like they are in a mess again. And the Germans just pushed right past Rome, taking Tarentum. Wow, I never saw that one coming. They could go for Croton next, kick the Brutii out of Italy. I don't even know who has technically won this civil war. I guess, in a weird way, the Scipii have? I don't know, it's so odd and confusing right now. The Germans pushing for Massilia as well. Can the Julii retake Retium with that little army they've got there? And now the Scipii pushing for Croton. Finally, the thing they've been after for years now. Macedon is dead. The Brutii finally took by Lazara. I think I'll end on turn 300, but I do have to do this campaign again sometime, with a few fixes. And well done, Scipii. The Brutii have been kicked out of Italy. <laughs> which I didn't expect to happen. They had it, but the Brutii had it. But then the Germans came and messed everything up. Uh, the Scipii took Palma at some point, so maybe the Scipii came in here, took the city, and then the Senate surrendered. Or maybe that was like part of the deal or something. The Senate surrenders, but Palma goes to the Scipii. I don't know. And they've got a good hold here on Thapsus. Carthage seems okay for now, but I don't think it will last. The Scipii trying to take Tarentum back from the Germans. Can the Scipii now flip it around? Could they actually go and conquer Rome? All of it. I'd love to see it. If they take all of these Italian settlements, they might have a chance. Because these are rich cities. That being said, Gre Greece is full of rich cities as well. So it will still be a, a challenge for them. But they've finally got the two settlements they always wanted. Was it worth it, Scipii? The complete chaos the Julii are now in, and the world is now in, for these two cities which you always wanted. Oh, and Crete, of course. Cannot forget Crete. Parthia making the pushback, taking Antioch against Pontus, and I've got no idea what all of this is. Scythia here too, for some unknown reason. Okay, I've been recording this now for two and a half hours. It's been a long campaign. My tea is ready in 15 minutes. So I've got 15 minutes and then I've got to run. So yeah, we're definitely going to turn 300 now, and I've got to call it there, I think. But I'll be doing this campaign again. And remember to subscribe as well, because if I hit 32,000 subscribers before Christmas, I will do a Third Age Divide and Conquer campaign. The video will take about 10 hours to record across multiple days, and, ooh, stupid I took, took Lepsis Magna, and it'll come out at like two, maybe even two and a half hours long. It's going to be a crazy one. Divide and conquer. AI only campaign. The Germans pushing up, trying to retake these former Julii territories. Meanwhile, the Brutii took Nicomedia back from Pontus and taking Tarsus as well in Asia Minor here. Well done, Brutii. Looking kind of tough. Going to war against the Gauls now, wanting a Quincum. Oh no, don't take a Quincum. Your borders look so nice. They look so Roman, but I guess a Quincum is okay. Yeah, but any further, and that just messes up the borders. Ooh, Egypt cutting off Parthia here, taking Damascus back. Gaul is a vassal of the Brutii now. Ooh, when we count up the cities, Gaul has four, so that's plus four onto the Brutii's score. Very good for them, they do need that because it is close, with the Germans looking so good. Come on, Scipii, you need to push back these Germans here. If you can take these cities, they might again be in the running. They might win it, but they've got to be very quick because there's not that long left. Oh, well done, Brutii, either. This might honestly, like, guarantee them the win at this point. Massacre and Synop. That would almost eliminate... Ah, oh, never mind. Almost eliminate Pontus, but they gave up on Sinop. Stupid Brutii. Okay, but pushing for Antioch. Going for Parthia there. I did not expect that. Parthia could take Tarsus for, so they have to be careful. And are they attacking Batavium as well? Yeah, that would be good. The Brutii might be able to pull this back, actually. By attacking Italy from the north. 
Yeah, they took Batavium. Well done, Brutii. Even though they've lost their two starting cities in Italy, and they lost Northern Italy as well when, once they conquered it, I do think they deserve to win. They've had a good campaign. One big setback is not enough to put them out of the running. Mazika has fallen. Can they take Sinop as well? They've got it under siege again. Meanwhile, they're doing well holding out against Parthia. And, well, the game's over anyway, but we can continue. So the year is 15 AD now, and I think that's when Rome Total War ends. Or around there, so that's why it's ended there. But we'll go for 15 more turns, just to get to a nice round even 300. Pontus becoming a vassal of a brute TI. If they're keeping all of these uh, vassals, they don't have loads of extra cities onto their straw. Um, odd. Scythia and Senna are allied. Right, so they've got Gaul and Dacia. Pontus must have broken free and gone to war with them again. Okay, never mind about that then. And yeah, Pontus down to their final settlement as Sinop fell. Well done, Brutii. Looking good in Asia at this point. With Dacia and Gaul as vassals as well, I think they've won it. Ten turns left. I don't think the Scipii are going to make a comeback. I don't think the Germans are going to take a load more settlements at this point. I think the AI is pretty much done. Unless they fall apart internally due to rebellions. That could always happen. Brutii pushing for Pontus's final city and they took it. Faction destroyed right at the end. If they'd only survived two more turns, or possibly one more turn, they'd have been okay, but no. Faction destroyed Pontus, and with that, we hit turn 300, and it's time to count up the cities. Okay then, so let's check out the diplomacy of the Senate, allying with Britain at the end. So let's check out the vassals. Brutii have Gaul and Dacia, so that's plus four, plus three, so that's plus seven onto their cities. The Scipii has the Senate, which is plus one onto their city for Rome, and those are the only vassals held. Got the Roman factions in here and some other good factions. That is the overall ranking. Then we have the military ranking. Uh, of course, the Brutii dominant production, always a mess. Territory. Okay, so with about 22 settlements plus the seven, that's 29 settlements, which would actually put the Brutii up here. I think it's safe to say the Brutii won this campaign. I wish I could have gone on longer, but of course I've got other stuff to do, other videos to make. Uh, second place was the Germans, third place goes to the Scipii, and I'm happy with that score to be honest. I do want to cover this mod again with a united Rome with Persia, some AI fixes, to really have it be a much faster conquest, you know, more like the AI campaigns we want to see. I think the Civil War really slowed the Romans down in this, which messed it up quite a bit. So I think a united Rome could be a lot more interesting, fighting an overpowered Persia as like a final boss type of thing. Ooh, they're about to take Crete as well. The Melkor merch store is now live. Redesigned, professional, from scratch, game icons on basically everything. Show your allegiance to your favourite faction today. Linked down below. But anyway, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next one. Please like the video, please subscribe for more, but for now, until the next one, Melgon.